Shalom. This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. I want to start off by saying thank you to all of our Booster Club members for your many donations and much more your prayers. We visited faraway countries and strange lands. We've even spoken to dignitaries and were detained for spreading the glorious gospel in Cuba. The truth is that the descendants of the 12 tribes of Israel were scattered throughout the world. Help us on our journey as we continue to raise up the nation of Israel. 12 tribes worldwide. Join or donate today. Shalom. Israelites, the black Hispanics, and we are the ones that are very good people. That's picture about how Hebrews 13 and 4. And one you, one you, are the, you are the one in a Deuteronomy. Oh, Deuteronomy 28 verse 16. 16. Deuteronomy 28 verse 61. By diseases, because yes. if, you don't, if you don't honor Deuteronomy, Deuteronomy 28, 61. Because if you don't honor, if you don't honor marriage and you go outside, Chances are you're going to get these diseases. And they're telling you all oh, to show how this society glorifies boredom. What do they do? Oh, they're going to get protection by a condom. A condom is not 100% secure. The condom can't break. And guess what happened? Disease. You understand me? So we need, if we're in the confines of marriage, we don't have to, to worry visit about those artists. things. Yeah, have a school school. Come to the evening, on, no. the night services. Sure, they can, they can come. They but, can come? Yeah. Well, we don't have any night services, you know. We'll come out on the street. We're going to Portmore tomorrow. We're going to Portmore tomorrow. Yeah, man, we're going to Portmore tomorrow. Don't you agree the same people who disappear? That's right. And I'm a God who's so grieved at us. All right, let's go back to the evening. As our children will grieve at us. We black people, right. We black people was in King and Queen. And everything we are, right? That's right. Yes. That's right. Yes. So, is it true? Is it true that we King and Queen and the Queen were to get so high? That's the sun rise and to you. Yes, well, and a race to rule you. About, about, about 3,000 years before you harvest, I don't remember. Yeah, thereabout, when Moses prophesied about 3,000 years ago, he, he, um, he wrote the prophecies about us being yes. held in captivity, going to yes. sleep. That time the white man kingdom has never come as no. No, 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 at no given time. So, do you, do you see do you still any, any evidential? Are any indication where that come to pass? Where what? That? Yes, when Father God said, I shall, I shall rise. I shall rise unto you and a race is to rule you. That is by people, which is what? Which is his people, which is us. So if you're saying that there's any historical evidence to prove that that happened. We're right here now. How did our ancestors come here? How did our ancestors come here? It's slavery. That is, this is, you don't want any more proof than that. So, we skip to the Bible, tell it, tell it all. How can you go? Skip to the Bible, tell it all. Because, in terms of what? In terms of what I say to you all about. Alright, Deuteronomy 28. Let's go to Deuteronomy 28 and verse 50. Let's show you what God pronounced upon the Israelites for not, for not obeying him. Read. Look up Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 15. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So it says, there's a, this is a prophecy, it shall come to pass, if you do not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, read. To observe, to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. The curses were going to come upon the Israelites. So let's prove that. Hold that. Give me Daniel chapter 9 and verse who is 11. The, who, is the, who is the Israelite? Hold on, we're getting there. We're getting there. We're getting there. Let's because this is a prophecy that if the children of Israel don't keep the commandments, curses were going to follow them. So let's see if the children of Israel follow the commandments. Daniel 9 and verse 11. Book of Daniel, chapter 9 and verse 11. Yay! All Israel! All who? All Israel! Read. Have transgressed the Lord, thy law, 
our Israel have transgressed thy law, read. Even by departing that they might not obey thy voice. So they did not abide, they may not obey the voice of God, which are the commandments. Read on. Therefore, therefore, the curse is poured. The what? The curse is poured upon us. The curse is poured upon us. Who is us? Read, go back to Deuteronomy 28. So let me tell you, hold on. So I told I, I, I made reference about slavery. Did our ancestors not come over here and stay as slaves? Our ancestors, the black come, people. Yeah, come here as slaves. Yeah. What type of transportation did they come? Ship. Let's get that. That's in the Bible. So if that don't cement and prove who we are and who the Israelites are today, then nothing will give them. Book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, and verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. So when Moses telling the children of Israel, the Lord shall bring you into Egypt again. When the children, remember brother, this is when Moses just delivered the children of Israel out of Egypt. What condition were the children of Israel in Egypt? What were their conditions? Slaves. They were slaves. Yes. So it says here, I'm he's going to put you into that condition again. And let's prove what is what Egypt means from the Bible. Because that's if you notice we're going from one scripture to the next, that's all you get to understand. Yes. Yes. Precept yes. upon precept. It's like a puzzle and you put them together. So let's show you what. Where did you stop here, man? What? Let me show you what teaching man. Come on, get your church. You know, get it. All praises, all praises. That's right, brother. That's right. Let's show you what Egypt means according to the Bible. Read. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter five and verse six. I am the Lord thy God, which brought thee out of the land of Egypt. So he says, I am the Lord thy God that brought you out of the land of Egypt. From the house of bondage. From the house of what? The house of Bondage. House of bondage. Egypt means house of bondage. What's another name for bondage? Start with S. Bondage. There you go. So go back to Deuteronomy 28 and verse 68 again. Let's we'll put this scripture in its full context so you can get a better understanding. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 68. And the Lord shall Egypt again. God is going to bring the children into of Israel into Egypt again. Back into bondage, into slavery again. Because remember, the children of Israel walked into Egypt. Remember when Joseph went down to Egypt and he was sold there. The yeah. children of Israel went into Egypt. They walked. Because yeah. Egypt was one landmass prior to the Suez Canal. Mass land, this side. Mass land, yeah. One but the Suez Canal now split it and they call it the Suez Canal. But they walked over into Egypt from Israel. So I said, I'm going to send you back into that same condition that you were in Egypt. But this time by what? With ships. With ships. So it's going to send the Israelites back into slavery with ships. Cargo slave ships. Did, that, did this not happen to us? As yeah, people? yeah. So what does that make us? And it prophesied over so many, so many. It's prophesied by so Moses many. over 3,000 years yeah, ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what is that telling us who we are today? Israelites. We are the Israelites. Right. So, so if you want, that is proof that what you asked me really happened. It's it did not happen. The, the evidence is there. They go right around. You have the sugar plantation right across the island. You see, every, the, 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 that, that legacy is still there. Have you ever been to Linsley side where um, Chuju's plantation yes, is? Yes, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. This is a massive land. Well, yeah, man. Who do you think owned that? The McConnells. The own word the park, Sugar Estate. They are the ones that run Chuju's. It's a legacy that was handed down. Where do you think they get it from? Their four parents handed it down. They were slave plantations. Even today, where the park is still run in that same manner. The workers are there. True, the work, place, you know, the work, they cut the sugar mass. cane, and guess what? Right? Because a job that I used to do, we used to pay these people, and they present a voucher. You know what used to happen? The people hard earned money. Word the park used to get a cut from that voucher. So if they get a thousand dollars, a ten percent commission came out. So the slavery still persists till this very day. It has not ended. It's just in another form. Because let me show you how slavery is today. Get me Deuteronomy 28 and verse 48. Let me show you something else that happened to us as a people that identify us as being the Israelites and so and it can be documented from history. Alright? So this is cargo slavery. Look at this. Africa. Look at this. 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 Look
Look at how our people were packed together in this. Can you imagine being in this condition for months? Because remember, you know, when they took us from the west coast of Africa, they, they, there was a hole in cell. Uh, um, the Gold Coast. They yeah, have the Gold Coast Castle, right? Because they go inside Africa, they rounded us up and they transported us across the land to these parts of the Gold Coast. These where you have the slave ports. They, they, ho they house us there. You know, some. You can go on. Dipo, Dipo, Dipo. Everybody was bungled up in this one little place. Right? Dipo, Dipo. And they have a place, Dipo. they have a gate called the point of no return. Once you go through there, you're going onto yeah. the ships and you'll never see this place again. Right? You understand me? And this is the condition of the ships how they were. We were packed like sardines. We were there for months. Remember, you know, these were sailing ships, you know. They never had any engines. They were powered by the wind. So guess what? A journey from here. A journey from here over here. You know how many months that took? At certain time of the year, when there was hardly any wind blowing, the ship would stall and it was basically just you far enough. So it took, it took months. Can you imagine being in this condition for months? As a woman, you're having your menstrual right here. Women were pregnant and were delivering right here. They were defecating right here. Everything true, done true, right true. here. They would only occasionally take it up on deck and hose it down and wash it down. Right? And guess what? Some of us couldn't stand it, we jump overboard. You understand me? This is a condition. Because this is Bible prophecy because of our disobedience. True. And you're telling me that the people who did this are not going to get punished for it? Sure. We can't be looking to these people who get salvation with us. That's just crazy. Right? Everybody who does something to somebody. Because if you are kid, if somebody come and kidnap you, and go in our room, in our dark room, down in our dungeon for months, and the police finally reach to you. You want that person to be the person who you have it down there. You want to be saved along with them. What do you want to happen to that person? No justice. The police come, take him and carry him away, and justice must be served. So guess what? Justice is going to be served. Just as how we got punished for what we did to our God, yes. they are going to get the punishment for what they did to they us. They are going to be the slave. They are ah, my sister. Yes. So look at this. This is not this no joking. It's really happened to our people. They make movies about it. It's in the history books. And you know what is so funny about the whole history of this thing? The history is being changed. When I was going to school, it was out there. They show you the books, the talk about Mark no, the, mark you the history was still watered down yes. to a certain degree because they make it seem as if um, slavery was more than it was just economic. This was prophetic. We never, we never told that. The church is not, not teaching the church is not, because nobody told us that that history was in the Bible. We never know about this neither. The church is not like church is and I know we just know say. Um, or slavery, they just take away the same. I never know that we were Israelites and this they was being prophesied from yes, days of Moses. You never teach it, that's what I never taught. No, it's very new to me. We were never so. taught because Mr. That before we come here, you know, one of the things I'm talking about, we're all, I would just uh, learn because. Yeah, all praise, all praise is true. Is that um, oh, you want it, you want it fresh. Um, Listen, you might never be no one go back to the church. You see, church, you might never be no one. Sit down by your slave master. You can't go back. You, after you know this the man, truth, you're not going to go back. This man, let me know one go back at these churches. Me no one go back here. All praise is to the most. You see your Bible? What am I reading? I hit him on a read. Come again. I see your Bible. 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 I see you say the collection for those here? You say the collection for those here, sister? Sua seed. Sua seed. Tides. Sua seed. If you throw a big seed, big things happen in your life. That is why That's you find out that we no want to repent. You understand? Mm -hmm. So you have to teach people the way how to repent. You understand? Right. Mr. And Udo, teach them Udo, Udo, so they can make changes church. in them lives. And these oh churches and God. these pastors are nothing but a church. <laughs> All right. We feel the same way, brother. Yes, man. <laughs> yes. All right, because it goes right back to today. Go to verse um, 6, verse 8, verse 6, verse 8. All right, listen yeah, up. Because this is some that we're going to bring out that relates to us even till this very day. Read. Book of Baruch, chapter 3, verse 8. 
And this is the In the Apocrypha. You ever heard about the Apocrypha? Yeah. The Maccabee Bible. Yes. Oh, oh. This was Did taken out. This was taken out by the very okay, same no, no, church. No. Because guess what? The very same church, yes. The very same church where yes. we are going to today. Them take out. Because if you're going to the, the Catholic priests, still have these books on the yes. Bible. The Anglican priests, them still have it. Yes. But they're not teaching it yes. because of what is in here. So when you have this, you make a correlation between the Old and the New Testament. Without this knowledge, we get confused. And it was done by this man here. All of the different denominations them set up was done to confuse us. Go read this. Book of Baruch, chapter 3, and verse 8. Behold, we are yet this day in our captivity. Behold, we are yet this day in our captivity. Where thou hast scattered us for a reproach. So God has scattered us all over the globe. The transatlantic slave trade, the sub sahara slave trade for the far east. Because you know, we have, you have our people right now in India and China. We were the ones that built the Great Wall of China, you know that? We are all yeah, over. So he said you scattered us far reproach. What does our reproach mean? Them scarred you. Right. Nobody wants you. You right. distance themselves from right. you. That's our reproach. You are oppressed. Right. You, are oppressed. Right. you are killed. For no reason at all. Right. Do you see that happening to our brothers in America? Yeah. 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 Get killed. Yeah. 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 For no reason at all. Even when they are killing them. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
the Sabbath. Let's go, let's work with the Sabbath. Exodus 20 and verse 8. Because this is something that God commands us as Israel that we must do. We are required to keep the Sabbath. Before you read, you see, the people who said every day is the Sabbath. Is it uh. is us? You know, say, you know, say, say apparently it's being Dominican. And all the Dominicans are the And peace, not at all. Who are you? Who are you? And all the Anybody? Any of our people, wherever they are, let me tell you something. We all do the same, no matter where we are. We have this preconceived, because of the indoctrinations that we get, we have this preconceived ideas about certain things. So, no matter where we go, we get the same. If you go to America, you see it's the same people, same kind of uh, rejection and the same kind of uh, ignoring that we get here. Yeah, you're ready to tomorrow, I can't. Same thing again, no matter where you go, it's the same. Our people fit the curse to a team. No matter where you go, we display the same characteristics, certain characteristics. So it's not only Jamaicans. So, Exodus 20 and verse 8. Let's read that. Book of Exodus chapter 20 and verse 8. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Why does it say, remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy? Because it's an example of God. Look what you do to God. It's an example. It's an example. This happened to us. That is why it said, during slavery, everything was stripped from us. Our true identity was stripped. Our language was taken. Who our true God is was taken from us. So all of that knowledge was erased from our memory, was erased from how we lived our lives. So in, in so doing, the Sabbath day was pushed aside. We are given Sunday. Slave master said, okay, Sunday you're gonna take time, Sunday, go and work yeah. Sunday. And then Sunday when you get to do it, every little thing. Because you work from sun up to sundown. Right through the clock. From Monday to Saturday. Even sometimes on Sunday them work. And it's the priority. Because if if it's the priority if the key and crack you, guess what I'm gonna say? Best bet you say you're gonna work on the Sunday. So seven days of the week you're gonna work sun up, sundown, till the back give out. So it says remember the Sabbath day to be boy. Just like you, if you have a child, you tell your child, okay, you just send a child to the shop and you say, okay, remember, say, remember, you, 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 the, but the last read that you read a while ago, mm. the pastors are not preaching not. this. Why is because they tell, us, they tell us that the commandments are done away. Because you know what is you Who tells them? Them? Tell them? them? Nobody tells them. Nobody. Who tells That's them? what the church is doing. No. The they said the laws are done away with. No. The what? church doesn't teach. Wait, what do they tell my sister? What do they The church doesn't teach. Now, so she keep the Sabbath. Remember. Remember. Will you keep the Sabbath? Who was the, who was the commandments given to you? It is all right. Okay. All right. So if you observe the law, how do we become Christians? How do we become Christians? Yeah. How do we become Christians? What was a Christian? No. And that's what I'm asking. How? No. What are you saying? We are bringing out the knowledge of all of people. Are you the Israelites? The Israelites. When you read the Bible, what nation of people does it speak? Uh, uh, I'll, 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 I'll finish that one. You, I that's it. What? This is coming. I say one and three experience all right. The ox who is owner, the ass is mad. But Israel does not know what Israel does not know what Because she's fucking up that reality. Israel was the capital of all. This is the capital of all. Where was the um, state in Africa? Exodus 20. So, Exodus 20 and verse 8 says, Remember the Sabbath day to keep the holy. Three. Six days shall thou labor and do all thy work. So God give us six days to labor and do all thy work. So question, which day is the Sabbath day? Read. But the seventh day when? is the Sabbath of the but the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. Seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord. So which day is the seventh day? Alright. Look at the gospel, right? Yeah. The days of the week are and when you read Genesis, you tell that the morning and the evening were the first so that the actual day start from the evening. So it is Friday sundown to Saturday sundown. That's the period of the Sunday. Friday, Saturday, 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 no, 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 no. That's when the sun, when it gets dark, that is when the Sabbath starts. Because Adventists, I would say, at 6 o'clock. No. 
because depending on the time of the year, six o'clock sometimes is bright sunlight. So it depends on where you are. We're not going to stay for you. Oh yes, oh yes, we, you know. we are going to. We're not going to stay. But that is why we are out here. We are raising <laughs> up back our people. We are here. Our people. We are going to. So you think this kingdom is going to last forever? See, China didn't come. Are they more than that? Are they more than that? Super bad. And I'm going to start with you. And I'm going to start with you. And I'm going to start with you. And they are talking about you. We are going to start with you. Just for our time. Just for our time. That is 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 just for supposed to do any work and if Christians some Christians say every day is my Sabbath when will you work to earn a day one of the conditions of keeping the Sabbath is that you don't work. bring it up so how could every day be a Sabbath you are the job don't what that's one of the commandments one of the commandments to remember the Sabbath day so what we're going to is showing you how you observe the Sabbath as a commandment Oh, God, 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 we used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.